Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Um, I'm going to do a video for you today, for Christmas I think. So, um, yeah, just a bit of black liner and a red lip. You know, sounds the sounds same as, the red lip is probably going to be something that you wouldn't um, necessarily wear out. You can adapt it to wear out. Might be something more for a photo shoot, I'll see how I go as I'm, as I'm um, going along with it. Just slap my hair back, just been in the city, doing a bit of shopping. And um, Ian and I were looking at places to get married, which was all very exciting and very expensive. I cannot believe how expensive it is to get married, but um, we're not going to do it until 2012 so I can start saving hard. It's so hard as well to find places where you feel like the kids will be safe. You know, like that you can put, you can watch them. There's nothing too much around, and uh, yeah, I want to get some kids entertainment and stuff, which is expensive as well. Because all of my friends have got kids. Sam's got kids, and I just I want it to be more about the family and the kids than really me and Ian. I just want to have his name, and I just want to get it done. I'd do it like that if I had the choice. But I've got a huge family, so um, I think they'd be a bit annoyed as well if I just ran off and. Went to Gretna Green. Um, okay, so Chanel foundation. I'm in between 20 and 30 at the moment, so I'm going to mix the two together a little bit. So a little bit of 30, a little bit of 20, and a foundation brush. And the first one, I like the look of this one. I grab is a Mac 190. I'm going to pop that all over. So Sam and I are very excited about our giveaway. 12 days of Pixie Woo. And the first day of Pixie Woo, my true love gave to me. That was my idea. Okay, so I'm going to get 217 brush and my concealer. I am going to use NW20 today. Because um, I'm a little bit in between, I think, until you 20 would be fine. A little bit under my eyes. Tiny bit on my cheeks. And a little bit on my blemish. And then I'm going to zoom in. Because um, someone asked me, I really like how your foundation looks, but um, does it look like that in real life? So I'm going to try and zoom in as much as I can for you so you can see what it looks like. I love this foundation and I think it looks really natural. You can see my skin's a little bit shiny at the moment. The foundation will start to wear into the skin in a minute and it won't be as shiny, although I am going to powder this anyway because I'm using Vita Lumia and it's the, um, the most glowing foundation that Chanel do. I love that and in the summer I'd leave it like this, sometimes I leave it like this anyway. But um, I'm going to powder it today for you. Now I just want a base eyeshadow to use all over the eye. So I've got a brulee from MAC. This is just a single pot one. And I'm just going to use a MAC 227 and just pop that all over. I like brulee because it's very matte. Um, it's not too pink. And it's, it's a satin, I think. Yes, yeah, a satin finish. So it goes on lovely on the eyes. It's not got too much shine, but it's not completely matte. Just like that. Completely blank canvas now. Brows next. I'm going to use my Chaos palette. I, I've been using this a lot recently just because it's easy. It's dead easy like. Actually what I'm going to use is a little bit of MAC Spiked just on the ends of my brows so I can get a bit of a sharper line. So I'm just going to... Actually this is Stud. So all these four colours in the top, I'll choose and I'll mix a few of those together to get my brows. Okay, bit of a rough shape there for the brows. 
Next I have got a product that I haven't used yet. I'm excited to use it. This is a liquid eyeliner and it's by um, Shoe Rumour. Let's have a little go with it. So you pump the end, unscrews, I try to twist it every time. And it's basically like a fountain pen. The inside is like a fountain pen as well. I know my only concern is fountain pens leak. I always used to at school, which is a great excuse when you hadn't done your homework. My fountain pen leaked on it. Oh, not that I want to give people bad habits. Um, but we'll see. Mine hasn't leaked yet, so we will see. So what I'm going to do is zoom in. I think I'm going to do... Eyeliner. This is quite hard to do with this because I'm not used to it. I always use a brush. Sam loves these sorts of things, but it's quite new to me. You can do this with your old school brush, um, which I tend to normally go for. I'm just showing you. I just want to use this pen really. Get a nice line with it. Let's have a bit of fun with it, shall we? Let's go. It's really like drawing with an actual pen. It's very strange. That's about it for the liner. I had to get quite close to the mirror to do this. It's much easier if you're close, but um, when you're recording a video you have to stand a little bit away. Whereas if I was doing it on my own I'd be so close to a mirror like this. So. Now, the thing is, I don't really like this for the amount of depth of colour it gives me on the bottom line but I like it for the the shapes that you can get through the um, the socket so I'm actually going to change and use a different one through the I'm going to go with the black eyeliner through the bottom of the eye let's just get it roughly the same first Ink liner. Yeah, so much blacker. It wasn't black enough for me, I'm afraid. It looked a bit grey. Can't believe William and Kate have got engaged and stolen all my thunder. I was like to Ian, we didn't get an interview. We didn't get an hour on, on the news. Bless them, I think they did very well. I have just bought myself a new big fake mascara as well. Big fake lash. So I'm going to pop that on. I have got the next lashes, which Sam and I really, really liked. Small amount of glue on the back of the lashes. Grab yourself a pair of tweezers. And pop the lashes in place. Okay, I'm going to let that dry itself. And I'm going to powder my skin. I've got my Chanel um, 20. Okay, I'll just use this brush, which is a MAC 150. Just to set that makeup. I 
Okay, next I have got Matte Bronze by MAC. I'm going to take that. Down the back of the face and in the hairline. I'm going to use a little bit of the Makeup Forever highlighter that I used in my last recent video. It is called Compact Shine On. Because a lot of people ask that. Top of my cheekbone. Puts the shine back in. Next for the lips, I have got Mac Brick Lip Liner. Then I have got MAC Current, which I'm going to go just around the outer corner with. Outer corner. Now I saw this look, it was originally done by um, a makeup artist called Andrew Gallimore and um, I just love it. The textures that he's used and how he's made the lip look almost velvet is amazing so I wish carry on. He um, is Beth Ditto's makeup artist in case anyone's wondering who he is. Now I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Russian Red. And just colour it in a little bit just to get those textures to blend together. And next I've got a Makeup Forever powder. I'm going to push that on the top of it to make it look a bit more velvety. I'm actually just going to hold a tissue underneath because this will go everywhere. And ruin it all. Just the most beautiful lip. Now I don't know if anyone would wear it out because it would be so dry, but I just love it. And there you have the finished look. I would wear that out on Christmas night or New Year's Eve. I'd probably have Christmas earrings in there or something. Hope you've enjoyed that, guys.